Hey everybody, Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports and today we're going to be doing an install on this EBC brake kit for the 2012 through 2018 F-150s and Raptors. Now normally I try to do these installs in the shop right here, but sometimes the stuff gets a little out of my league or is a little too time consuming. And so today we're actually going to be throwing these in our 2013 Raptor, heading down to our buddy Joe's shop and we're going to have him throw these in and kind of walk through the install. So we're going to get this all put together and let's jump right into it. Start off by removing the front wheels to gain access to the brakes. Remove the two bolts on the back of the caliper that secure it to the bracket. You can then pull the caliper off and tie it up out of the way to prevent putting strain on the brake line. Next, remove the two bolts holding the bracket so you can remove it along with the factory pads. Use penetrating oil and a mallet to break the rotor loose and pull it off. Now we need to compress the pistons back into the caliper. Use an old brake pad with a caliper tool or a C-clamp to compress the pistons until they're even with the rubber seal. After compressing the pistons, put EBC's adapter rings in place on each piston. Then take the EBC front rotor and slide it onto the hub. Then reattach the caliper bracket with the new brake pad retainer clips on it. Place the new brake pads into the caliper bracket and make sure they sit flush against the rotor. You can thread a lug nut on to hold the rotor straight if needed. Place the caliper back onto the bracket and reattach it with the two bolts on the back to complete the front install. Rear installation is going to be very similar to the front. After removing your wheels, remove the two bolts on the back of the caliper, holding it to the bracket. Tie the caliper out of the way or set it on the leaf springs to avoid straining the brake line. Pull the factory brake pads off, then remove the two bolts on the back of the caliper bracket to remove it. Use penetrating oil and a mallet to break the factory rotor loose and pull it off. Take the EBC rotor and slide it onto the hub. Then reattach the caliper bracket with the new brake pad retainer clips on it. Now we need to compress the piston back into the caliper. Use an old brake pad with a caliper tool or a C-clamp to compress the piston until it's even with the rubber seal. After compressing the piston, put EBC's adapter ring in place on the piston. Place the new brake pads into the caliper bracket and make sure they sit flush against the rotor. You can thread a lug nut on to hold the rotor straight if you need. Place the caliper back onto the bracket and reattach it with two bolts on the back to complete the install. As always, thanks for watching and make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our other installs and reviews.